What's going on guys? Welcome to another random video I would say because I haven't posted a video to this channel in a while So shout out to everyone subscribing to the channel liking the videos. I appreciate that in this video I'll be talking about some of the equipment that I use to record audio and of course which application I use to actually edit the audio Now let me just start this video by talking about the equipment because you know with recording audio You could record the audio, but you can also get additional noise and I use equipment So I don't have that issue including a arm boom microphone stand because I also use a Blue Yeti microphone and that's probably one of the more popular microphones out there you'll see a lot of people using this microphone because you can get it for around hundred to hundred fifty dollars so the cost is fantastic also the quality is great so we're talking about a microphone that works for podcasts or even if you're recording audio for a video really awesome microphone from Blue Yeti. Now, as far as, again, the equipment I use to avoid additional noise, I'm also using a pop filter that allows you to record audio, especially when you say certain words, and you don't get that additional air that interferes with the audio recording. So that's something I also use. Now, another important piece of equipment that I use is headphones, because I have the Audio Technica ATH M50X headphones, which are fantastic also. And when I record audio, I'm actually listening to the audio that I record while I'm talking. It's really important because if you're yelling into the microphone or if you're even trying to figure out the levels that your audio recording should be, it's a great idea to listen to that audio. Now, it's not always going to be perfect. Nothing's perfect out there, but it's going to allow you to avoid some of the common issues people have when trying to figure out how to get the best quality of audio. And I think it's an interesting conversation about recording audio because some people, especially if you use the Adobe applications, you might be thinking to use Adobe Audition, but you also see Premiere Pro has an option to edit audio, especially if you're working on video. Premiere Pro for myself, it's an interesting application to edit audio because you could edit audio sometimes for simple edits. I find with Adobe Audition, that's my editing application of choice for a lot of different reasons, including the fact you can see a lot more detail in the audio than Premiere Pro. But for some simple edits, again, I do use Premiere Pro because it allows me to edit audio quickly there. Now, as far as Adobe Audition, the features and the editing ability that you have with Adobe Audition, you can make a lot of changes to the audio to the point where if you're Audio recording is not that great. You can clean up the audio. I have tutorials about that on my channel. But when you're recording the audio, to avoid a lot of the mistakes that could happen, you have to make sure that you're using the microphone the right way. Because like with a Blue Yeti microphone, there's even instructions on their own website that shows you how to position the microphone where you have the microphone vertical. So you're talking into the microphone. Also the settings on the Blue Yeti, like if someone's doing a podcast and you have more than one person talking, there's a setting there. Or if you're just one person talking, there's also a different setting for that. So there's some options for the Blue Yeti microphone and each step is really important because you are going to notice the differences in the audio recording. Even if you put the microphone like on a 45 degree angle and you start recording, try that with your microphone, depending on what kind of microphone you have. But if your microphone is not built for that and you have it tilted compared to it being vertical like the Blue Yeti microphone, you're going to notice a difference in the quality of audio. Now, just back to the headphones that I use, because for the Audio Technica ATH M50X headphones, those are specifically designed for really monitoring audio. But you can also listen to music. And now we're talking about the quality of the audio. A lot of times when people are talking about recording audio or listening to the audio, you're talking about the lows, the mids, and the highs. I would say when people are talking like that, they're looking for a sound signature, not just an average sound. Like with Beats by Dre, you're going to get really heavy bass. I even have a pair of earbuds from Beats by Dre. They're fantastic because they're Bluetooth. But we're also talking about listening to the quality of audio and getting that sound signature where you know what the true sound quality is of your recording. So again, with the Blue Yeti microphone, when I plug in the Audio Tetra headphones, I'm actually hearing exactly how the sound is being recorded. And I can change the levels of that, where if you want to increase on the microphone, the sound level, you can do that. And you can also increase the gain where you're actually increasing how loud the sound is going to be. Now I would also say this, for recording audio, you don't want to use so much gain because that really is an assistant. So if you're adding gain to your audio, like a really a lot of gain, it's going to interfere with that quality. It almost reminds me when you're actually recording video and you have it manually set and you're using ISO. When you increase that ISO, you're adding additional lighting to your video, but it also interferes with the quality because it's an assistant again. So for the audio, it's similar where you don't want to add that additional gain so you can get the best quality possible. And as far as the application, the reason why I use Adobe 
Audition again is because for me, when I'm using all the Adobe applications, it's really about convenience. Because if you're editing in Premiere Pro, when you're working within the project, you can just go right to Adobe Audition. So I just find that to be a really great feature with the Adobe applications, and it makes it really great to just work between applications. So those are some tips with how to record audio, especially if you're recording audio for your videos on YouTube or even if you have a podcast. But I'm going to put some links in the description where you can see some of the equipment that I was talking about in this video. If you guys have any questions about recording audio or the Adobe applications such as Adobe Audition, post your comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.